वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पाइप लाइनिंग कंसेप्ट इन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट सिक्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर आई एग्जैक्टली एक्सप्लेन हाउ पाइप लाइनिंग इज बिन डिलीवर्ड बाई एट जीरो एट सिक्स यू शुड नो वाई पाइप लाइनिंग इज बिन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड here agenda of pipelining is to increase speed of execution of instructions let me give you some practical examples so it will gives you more clear idea see when we talk about execution of instructions in 8085 microprocessor in that if you observe let us say we are having five instructions over here 1 2 3 4 5 so how it will get executed in 8085 so when first instruction is going inside in microprocessor it will get fetch first after that it will get executed then second will go inside fetch executed third fetch executed that is how execution was happening right now here a problem is it will take total time that will be equals to time of individual instruction into number of instructions right but as if you have parallel instruction execution then then you can save your time you can say you are increasing speed how you just think about this for example when first instruction is coming it is fetched now now in second machine cycle it will get executed during second machine cycle second is getting fetch so in third machine cycle that second will get executed and third will get fetch in fourth machine cycle third will get executed fourth will get fetch that is how in parallel as if you execute instructions then what will happen my dear students obviously you are saving your time so 8086 that was just a beginning of pipelining with intel after that intel have upgraded so much right after that there was three level pipelining then four level pipelining then six level pipelining after that they were been having parallel pipelinings parallel pipelining means pipelining pipelining is happening but two parallel pipes are there right so in one pipe pipelining is there after that second pipe is there in parallel with it and right now there are octa core processor hexa core processor that you might be observing right now so it indicates that how many pipelining which is happening inside that processor right so that is how upgradation is been done but you should know how it was initiated so my dear students first of all what i'll do is i'll explain you how we can increase speed of microprocessor after that i'll explain you in detail how we provide pipelining with 8086 and there are some issues which is happening with pipelining that even i'll be discussing in this video so let us see first how we can have improvement in speed with microprocessor so when we talk about speed improvement then by increasing data bus we can improve the speed of microprocessor how as if you talk about increasing in data bus then you should know in single machine cycle we can transfer more data as we have more data bus right so by increasing data bits you can increase speed when we talk about increase in speed by having system clock then you should know my dear students as if you increase crystal clock frequency then you will be executing instructions faster why the reason is now time pdr for single t states that will decrease right next is by upgrading alu the simplest explanation let me give it to you like for example in 8086 we have 16 bits of alu right and with 8085 we have 8 bits of alu so as if you want to perform 16 bits addition with 8085 it will take few instructions of execution but that can be done directly by 16 bits of alu so as if you upgrade your alu with microprocessor you can be able to increase speed of execution next is by upgrading memory technology which we interface it with microprocessor 
लाइक नाउ अडेज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आई एम यूजिंग एस एस डी विद माई कंप्यूटर एज वेल एज कैश मेमरी इज देर इवन देर आर मेनी अदर मेमरीज लाइक ग्राफिक्स कार्ड सम डेडिकेटेड मेमरीज इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल राइट सो बाय अपग्रेडिंग मेमरी टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन इंक्रीज स्पीड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू इंक्रीज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन और इफ यू अपग्रेड योर इंस्ट्रक्शन देन ऑल्सो यू कैन इंक्रीज स्पीड ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल विद एट जीरो एट फाइव वी वेर नॉट बीन हैविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन बट विद एट जीरो एट सिक्स बाय सिंगल इंस्ट्रक्शन वी कैन हैव मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन वाइल विद एट जीरो एट फाइव वी वेर बीन मेकिंग अ लॉन्ग प्रोग्राम टू हैव एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन टास्क राइट सो इफ यू अपग्रेड इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर यू कैन अपग्रेड द स्पीड एज वेल एंड पाइपलाइनिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी एसेंशियल थिंग इट हेल्प यू टू एग्जीक्यूट मल्टीपल इंस्ट्रक्शन इन पैरल राइट सो नाउ वट आई डू इज आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू पाइप लाइनिंग कंसेप्ट इन ग्रेट डिटेल सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूशन विद एट जीरो एट फाइव सो इन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एग्जीक्यूशन इन एट जीरो एट फाइव You will have, you will be having fair enough idea about how pipelining is there with eight zero eight six. So here, first of all, we will be fetching instruction, then we will be executing instruction. So this is what the case which is there with one instruction. Now for second instruction also, we will be doing same thing: fetch, execute. Then third is having fetch, execute. Fourth is having fetch and execute, and fifth is also having fetch and execute. So if you observe here. horizontal axis that explains you time right so how many machine cycles that you can say there are total 10 machine cycles which we are having it with execution of this pi instructions right now what will happen with 8086 let us try to understand that so when we talk about 8086 first of all it will be fetching first instruction but when it executes that first instruction in parallel with that it will be fetching second instruction right so when it was executing first instruction at that time in parallel it was fetching second and that is what it was keeps on repeating like when it executes second at that time it will be fetching third when it executes third at that time it will be fetching fourth when it execute fourth at that time it will be fetching fifth and at last it will execute five so here if you observe Time period here required for eight zero eight six compared to eight zero eight five, so that will be half, right? So here we are increasing speed significantly well. So this is what the basic thing which we need to have it with pipelining. But my dear students, there are some issues which is happening with pipelining. Like what will happen as if branch will happen, right? Like there can be call or jump instruction execution. At that time, what will happen? So at that time, you will have to discard next instruction, right? Why the reason is, my dear students, in program you will be writing program in sequence, right? So whenever you execute second, it will be fetching third. But what if this second execution is having branch? So at that time, it will have to discard this. So that is what. the issue which is there with pipelining about that also i'll discuss few things so that will gives you fair enough idea so my dear students when we talk about issues of pipelining then you should know in branch instruction execution next fetch instruction will get discarded for example let us see how it will happen so here first of all we are fetching first instruction then while we are executing second instruction it will be fetching second instruction right and let us say this second instruction is branch instruction so as if this second instruction is branch instruction then what will happen after that whenever second is getting executed it will be fetching third instruction but because it is branch instruction it should not execute third instruction right so you should know it should not execute third instruction so this third instruction will get discarded and now whatever branch is happening at that location microprocessor will jump and it will keeps on executing that right so if you observe here what is the loss which is there with us here we are having a loss of one instruction right as if branch is happening so this is what issue which is there with pipelining like as if branch is happening while it is having pipelining at that time it will have to discard those instructions which were there in pre advanced fetch 
right now my dear students let me tell you how microprocessor is working on all those issues if you talk about current scenario then with core i3 core i5 core i7 microprocessors you will be observing it is having algorithms which are integrated inside right now there is parallel pipes as well as with each pipes there is pipelining so you might be wondering like thousands of instructions that are executed in parallel right now with your microcomputer so you will be observing like there should be major impact of this branch instructions whenever it is executing that inside so to resolve that right now you will be observing that intel is having some algorithms in which it will be predicting branch so branch prediction algorithm that is been developed by intel which will be predicting branch and you might be surprising to listen it from my side that they are predicting it with accuracy of 99.2 percentage accuracy which is there with prediction of branch in execution of instructions so by that accuracy they are predicting branch so they are not having those issues which is happening right now with this calculation which i am talking to you right now but that was initiated with 8086 that pipelining concept that was initiated with 8086 so that is how you should know how those processors have been upgraded and how speed of computer is increasing with respect to time still if any confusion is there just let me know by writing comments into the comment box i'll be definitely going to help you out by giving you answers based on same and if it is not possible i'll be making videos on same thank you so much for watching this video